here today, obviously, with, back in the foundation here, which is fantastic, and you brought a big check from LA Galaxy. Yeah, we did, yeah. I've uh, been hounding LA Galaxy for uh, for a good few weeks now. We had, a, we had a golf day a few weeks ago, myself and Graham McDowell, and we, we managed to, you know, to raise uh, 300,000 between us, so, which, is, which is great for the, you know, for the hospital. And so the AEG LA Galaxy have been, uh, been on the case for, for a few weeks, and, they managed to give us, uh, you know, 50,000. So we're very, very grateful for that, and it goes a long way for these kids. And of course, we're almost in your backyard when it comes to, to Dublin and, 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 and you growing up and uh, playing football around here. Mm. So it's always nice to give something back. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you know, we'll, you know, when you're an athlete, you're very, very fortunate that uh, you know some people, you know, can listen to you sometimes. Yeah. Some don't, but some. <laughs> uh, but when it when it comes to stuff like this and uh, to give something back to the community and. and when you have got kids yourself, uh, you know, as, as, as most of us uh, have here today, is that you realise how, how important it is that you know for these these parents that, that don't have this help, and um, you know, we're very lucky. We count yourself lucky when you when you're healthy and your kid is healthy. When I come into the hospital and visit these kids every Christmas when I, when, I, when I come home, you know, it's heartbreaking to, to see some of these kids and what the parents are going through. Yeah. It's tough, and uh, there's a little kid there, you know. Cody with cystic fibrosis and the two of us over the years have become little buddies so he's uh I've invited him to the to the next Ireland game against Poland and uh but you know this is his home you know he's he's, he's here for, for most of the year and it's it's it's, it's very difficult for him his, his sister has the same has the same thing so the two of them can't even be be close to each other when they're home you know it's 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 hard it's heartbreaking and if we can help in, in any way possible that we can, it's, uh, it makes a massive, massive difference to, to these young kids. Well, people now watching this morning know that you're backing this Give It Up campaign, mm. and it works really easy. It's just give something it's up for less. Simple. Yeah, it's fairly simple. It's, you know, in, uh, just for a month, uh, in Lent, just you know, give up either, whether it's chocolate or if it's going to cost you, you know, 10, you know, 20 euro a, a month. Uh, if that's going to save you that money in, in chocolate, please donate it to you know the, to the Crumlin yeah. Hospital because it certainly helps the kids and and for the certainly for the for the parents that that bottle of red wine on Friday, <laughs> Friday night, if you can give that up and you know yeah. send the money in. The whole squad's with you this time. What's that about? Uh, here today. Yeah, yeah, and in Ireland. Yeah, well, yeah, well, we obviously we're we're here for pre-season training. We're, we're playing uh, playing Shamrock Rovers on yeah. Friday, which would be nice, you know, oh, yeah. back back in back in Tallaght. So. Uh, you know, it's a good opportunity. You know, they asked me would, would, I, would I like to. We had a game in Sweden uh, two days ago, and we're going to be in Europe anyway. So they said, would, it, would you like to play in Ireland? So, of course, uh, oh, it, was, it, was, it was a no-brainer. So it was, uh, <laughs> it's been good. The lads have really enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, a few of the lads here today also to, to come to the hospital to you know, visit the kids Support and give, give, give pre presents out to the, into the kids, and if we can put a little smile on their face as well. You, you know, makes your day better. And you've, of course, a new season coming up and you'll be renewing acquaintanceships with a certain Mr. Stephen Gerrard mm. next summer. Uh, only thing, you'll be club camping this time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, Stevie coming. It's, uh, yeah. uh, I've obviously played with him before and, and how, you know, how influential he will be to the, to the team and how important he's going to be. Uh, I know, speaking to him, how excited he is and, and, and really looking forward to, you know, completely different challenges. Yeah. You know, he's lived in, in Liverpool all his life and, you know, he's never been, He's never lived anywhere else, so it's going to be something different for him. And are you going to stay there for years to come? I mean, will you will you be there after your career? Or I wouldn't say I'd be there after my career unless the you know the the coaching the yeah. coach comes in. Obviously, I've done my um, my B, B license. Of, I'm in the middle of my A at the moment, so uh, it's potentially we'll, we'd move back to Ireland, but. So it depends on, 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 the, and the, coaching, suppose, on the coaching yeah. aspect and, and, and where, where I'm going to be. So, you know, maybe it could be LA to you know, at the start, maybe, or anywhere else. Premier but de 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 certainly in the, in the future, I'd like to be back in England to be, be a coach. You, you, you've made it pretty clear that you want to stay playing as well with the Republic of Ireland. You really enjoy that. You love playing for your country. Um, qualification from this qualification tournament and the finals next year, would, would that be the icing on the cake? Would that be time then to sort of turn around and say, well, maybe now I can go away happy? Or would you say, still say, no, I can give no, it a year or two? No, 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 I think, I think you know, it's probably it's a fair assessment, possibly. Uh, but it just depends how, you know, how I feel, you know. It's at this moment in time, I feel, you know, I feel great. Uh, I still feel fit, but I'm certainly, 
not looking beyond the Euros. I just want to make sure that, you know, as, as a nation that we, we get there because uh, we know how important these, these tournaments are for, you know, for the country and how excited everybody gets and, and, and everybody gets behind the country. So uh, let's just get there first and then we can decide after that. Excellent, Thank you. Thanks. Thank Cheers. You. Thank you. Thanks for coming.